I'm going to do a really simple model today. These jugs. All right, so I'll show you how to do that. I'm over here in Blender in the startup scene. All right, I just loaded a new scene and I am going to hit A to select everything and I'm going to hit X and I'm going to delete everything. All right, I'm going to hit seven to go to top view and five to go to orthographic. So I'm looking straight down. Notice that my screencast keys are on. I'm going to hit N to open up the side panel and scroll until I see the shading section. And in shading, I'm going to choose matte cap, ambient occlusion, and this shader. Okay, I'm going to click on display as well, and I'm going to turn off the grid floor. Hit N to close that. All right, ready to go. I'm going to hit Shift A, and that's going to bring up the add menu where I can choose my mesh, and I'm going to choose plane and I'm going to just put down the default plane. I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up and I'm going to zoom in. All right. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and I can do that down here. I'm in object mode right now. I'm going to go over to edit mode like that or I can go, um, what can I go? Tab. All right. Go to object mode, tab, edit mode. All right. Doesn't matter whether I am in vertex, edge, or face selection right now. All right. I'm going to hit W and that's going to bring up the specials menu and I'm going to choose subdivide and that's going to subdivide this plane into four. I'm going to hit W again and I'm going to subdivide one more time A to deselect. I'm going to switch over to face selection mode now or you could do that down here. You can see this is highlighted. I was in vertex, now I'm in face. I'm going to select these four faces here and then I'm going to come over to the left side and I'm going to search for loop tools. Now, I don't know if that's enabled in your version of Blender or not. Um, I think I had to enable it at one point uh, going into file and, and preferences and searching for it, user preferences. But I'm going to choose loop tools and convert this, this square into a circle just by clicking circle. And that's good enough because we'll be putting on a subdivision surface that will round that out. I'm just going to hold the middle mouse button and sort of scroll around so I get a bit of a side view. And I am going to pull this up in the Z direction by clicking on that arrow and pulling upwards a little bit like that. And then I'm going to hit E to extrude and left mouse button to accept. Now I have my mouse buttons configured differently than the default blender. Left is uh, for for the sort of Windows like functions and, and right. So I didn't explain that very well. but. I, uh, I've hit E to extrude and I'm now going to pull this up a little bit and then I am going to hit I to inset so I hit the I key that's it and then I'm just going to move my mouse I just move my mouse in or out I'm not pressing any buttons move my mouse to about maybe there alright so I form this sort of shelf region here and then I'm going to hit X and fa choose faces and just delete those faces right there all right, now I'm going to go into edge select mode, all right, or I can do it right down here, and I'm going to shift, hold down shift and alt, and click on an edge there, and then shift and alt, and click on the next edge, shift and alt, the next edge, and the last edge. So all four um, entire edges or sides are selected. I'm going to hit E to extrude and accept, and in the Z direction, I'm going to pull downwards, just like that. Okay, good enough for the time being. I'm going to deselect and come back into object mode. And I'm going to come over to the modifiers tab, the wrench. And I'm going to add modifier subdivision surface. Click on that and change the view to 2. Then I'm going to come back into my object, edit mode. And I'm going to hover my mouse over this region, somewhere down in this region. And hit uh, control R. And then I'm just going to... Um, click the left mouse, into, mouse button to accept and I'm going to pull it up to around maybe there and I can deselect and then I'm going to come up to the neck here and I'm going to hold my mouse here control R click to select or to accept and I'm going to pull it down Not too far I don't want to make this too sharp like that and deselect control R click and bring it close to the top but not right to the top all right, deselect and come back into object mode. I'm going to come over to the left panel and choose under shading smooth. And now it's going to look like this. 
let's go back into edit mode and shift alt click this edge maybe pull it down a little bit and then I'm gonna hit F to make a face and it's gonna go all weird that's because we have subdivision surfaces on now you could turn that off if you want but I want to be able to see what I'm doing deselect control R here pull down to maybe about there okay and in I'm gonna click that face there select that face and I'm going to hit I to inset bring it in a bit and E to extrude and pull it down something like that let's zoom right in all right let's take care of some of that roundness control R put an edge loop in and pull it down not right to the bottom but close and one more control R and pull it up not right to the to the edge there and we'll get sort of a rounded look like that okay close close to the end of the jug itself let's click on it and by the way let's add solidify and just accept the default values and let's go back into the jug and focus on the neck region here well, let's create the thread sort of thread anyhow simulate the thread I'm going to be working in this area right here so I'm going to go control R and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up one that's one well I didn't roll it up there's one edge loop I'm going to roll it up that's two three four edge loops left click and uh, right click to accept and deselect go over to face select mode and I'm going to choose any two alternating rows so for example shift alt and click there and there or shift alt and click there and there and I think I'll go with that one once I've got them all selected I'm going to hit E to extrude and I want to extrude in the uh, Y and uh, X direction but not upwards or downwards in the Z so I'm going to go S for scale and then go shift Z all right just press shift and Z and release and now I'm just going to pull my mouse out I'm not holding any buttons pulling my mouse out a certain distance to about there deselect go back into object mode and you can see I've got what sort of looks like thread all right that's it for the jug no it's not it for the jug I'm gonna do one more thing back into the body edit mode down to this region control R roll up so I have two edge loops and accept that if I want I can move this the position of this maybe up to there I can also scale it if I want a thinner region. I'm gonna make sort of a label so I can go scale the Z, so I can do something like that, bring them closer together. Face select mode, I'm gonna shift select that whole area. So that was uh, shift and alt, that whole region right there. I'm gonna extrude this outwards, but not in the Z direction. So I'm gonna hit E and accept. Scale S, shift Z again. I'm gonna pull my mouse out a little ways. And I'm sort of looking down here to see how far out it comes and to accentuate that I'm going to deselect and go control R in this region and pull down close to the edge and below it control R close to the edge like that let's come out and have a look at that so it's as if the the uh, label of some sort or I don't know what it, what that is exactly is built into the model all right okay so now we're going to make the lid for this thing all right i've still got my 3d cursor right in the middle i haven't moved anything so i'm going to go shift a uh, to bring up my add uh, mesh and i'm going to choose circle and i'll bring it up a little bit right right around the neck and i'm going to scale s for scale so it looks like it's sort of just around it okay to make a lid and i'm going to go into edit mode make sure it's selected f to make a face e to extrude and pull it up so I'm making a lid here all right once you're happy with the height of that keeping it selected I'm gonna hit I to insert pull in my mouse again I'm not pressing any buttons I'm just moving my mouse inwards and release and then E to extrude and accept and pull down in the Z direction a little bit let's do another one I to inset towards the middle till you're happy with the size of the circle E to extrude and pull it down again okay just like that back into object mode we can select this and hide it for the moment let's go back into our lid and in face select mode let's grab that face and I'd inset bring it in a certain distance and 
key to extrude and I'll pull this up and to see how far I'll go Z into wireframe and I'll pull that up a little bit higher just like that I'm back into object mode and have a look at it okay now let's do some beveling uh, it's always a good idea to hit object apply scale edit mode and edge selection I'm going to select all these sharp edges this one so I'm going to shift alt and click this one this one and the two below ones that one and that one all together at the same time okay zoom in and then we're going to bevel this by hand so go control B just press that combination you see the dotted line start pulling back so you get a little bit of a slope and then I'm going to put two I'm going to roll my mouse up one two and maybe a little bit bigger and click and accept back into object mode and I've now uh, beveled that uh, I'm going to put on a subdivision surface and two all right and if this is causing some trouble uh, let's see if I can add an edge loop down in here uh, yeah, I got it there and I'm going to push down like that okay so I've got that so far just a little bit more and then I'll add smoothing back into edit mode and I'm going to be working here I'm going to go control R roll my mouse up so I have two edge loops except and then scale in the Z and as I pull away they both go equally up to about there deselect go into face select mode and select that whole row of faces all right, now I'm going to hit inset or I twice in succession. So I'm going to go I, I. And that sort of um, insets them, but it separates them from each other. As I move my mouse in and out, I can change the size of those. So I want to go to about there and left click to accept. But before I lose the selection, I'm going to come over to extrude individual. I'm going to click that button and I'm going to pull downwards just a little bit. And that's going to push those regions out. So click and pull down. And it come, they come out, but they come out a little rounded okay just click to de to uh, finish that operation and I can deselect as well and I'm going to hit I'm just going to put my mouse anywhere in here and I'm going to go control R and I'm going to get an edge loop all the way around I'm going to pull it up to the top near the top of those not quite the very end same thing for the bottom just like that okay go back to object mode and I'll go ahead and I'll hit smooth for that okay um doo -doo -doo -doo. it doesn't matter if I have that or not no, I could I could probably delete that face if I really wanted to and I could put on solidify if I needed to I'm not sure I need to but I'm not sure that really helps either but um, let's bring back alt H uh, the rest of my jug and you can now see Let's make sure the origin of geometry that I've got my lid and then you just decide if that lid looks like it fits if it's got to be bigger you can scale it out or smaller that looks fine all right so you can push it all the way down if you want to completely seal that jug we can make it we could do another one let's look at the top view shift D and we could bring out another one right here and then I'll just move around let's uh, lift this lid up maybe to there move that over and let's uh, rotate in the X like that oh I don't know how, what what we want to do here exactly uh, let's do a quick open GL render bring this up to 100% camera icon and that's it